I had a brilliant music teacher, her name was Mrs. Jones, and I sang. I mean, I did that and I sang in school concerts, I sang in operas, uh, church choirs. I mean, I enjoyed the practice. I didn't really enjoy the performance so much, but I liked the community of doing it. I made one of those crazy decisions as a teenager that I wanted to work in, in the theater and I didn't want to be a performer. I, just said I'm going to be a director and that's what I've been ever since. One of the platforms I came in on was uh, uh, to expand the commitment to new work, to commissioning new plays, to bringing in new writers. There's a history of doing that but I've really pushed it hard and you know in the city there's a proliferation of kind of new work so I'm very proud to be part of that. Now I'm very interested in uh, commissioning writers, so I'm there from the beginning with uh, often talking with writers about the initial idea. I wanted to be an art historian, so the visual life of a production is important to me and with the, the actors I like to think I'm collaborative, you know, I, I, I'm not a director who particularly says you go over there and do that, we work it out as we go along. I think theatre helps you develop empathy and I, uh, we need it. So to be recognized by your hometown for what you're doing and to know that it's got an impact. An English expression which is completely untranslatable really, which is to be dead chuffed, but it means to be really pleased. It's a real honor. Art is something that makes me feel a bigger person.